hello guys so ang ating next video is again tungkol pa rin sa transportation costs pero this time is FOB destination freight prepaid naman so FOB des destination ang freight term then freight prepaid ang freight payment so review lang tayo ng konti if FOB destination ang freight term so the seller bears the shipping cost na ibig sabihin nito ang magbabayad ng uh, transportation cost ay si seller so dahil si seller ang magbabayad ng transportation cost dapat si seller ang magdebit ng freight out or transportation out so kung natatandaan nyo dati na discuss na natin kung kailan ginagamit si freight out at saka si transportation out di pa nga ginagamit natin ito para sa transportation cost ng mga binibenta natin so pag FOB destination then the title passes only when the goods are received by the buyer at the point of destination so habang nakabiyahe yung mga goods or your goods are still in transit the seller is still the owner of the goods kasi malilipat lamang ownership kapag natanggap na ni buyer Paano naman kapag freight prepaid? Kapag freight prepaid, parang kagaya ng mga cellphone load natin. Prepaid, ibig sabihin bayad in advance. So, si seller ang nagpabayad ng transportation cost before shipping the goods sold. So, kapag ginala niya ito sa tracking service, si seller na ang bahalang magbayad. So, check natin nagmamatch ba silang dalawa. Kapag FOP destination at freight prepaid ang terms, then, who shoulders the transportation cost? Si seller. Who pays that shipper? Or the transportation cost? Si seller then. So, nag-match silang dalawa. So, example tayo. The same example sa uh, kanina na video natin. So, ang ating example is on October 14, 2019, hashtag true love store owned by Tresha Lambunao sold merchandise to hashtag just me store owned by Janine Maglana for 50,000 pesos. Terms, FOB destination, freight prepaid. 2 over 10 and over 30. Trisha paid the shipping cost of 750. Janine received the goods and the invoice on October 15. On October 23, Janine sent the payment to Trisha, which Trisha received on October 24. So, we are required to prepare journal entries in the books of Hashtag TrueLab and hashtag just me or in the books of the buyer and the seller so yung nasa left side natin ito ang books ni seller or ni hashtag true love ang may ari ay si Trisha then sa right naman is si hashtag just me ito ay sa books ni buyer or sa books ni Janine so sa first transaction natin ah, nagbenta Si Tresha Lambunao kay Just, Hashtag Just Me ng 50,000. Okay, debit, accounts receivable, utang ito. Credit sales, 50,000. Sa books naman ni buyer, okay, debit purchases, 50,000. Credit, accounts payable, 50,000. Now, the next transaction is Tresha paid the shipping cost of 750 pesos. Nagbayad si Tresha na shipping cost na 750 so, ang tanong siya ba dapat ang magbayad? Yes. Kasi nga, balikan natin ang kanilang ito, oh, terms ay FOB destination. At FOB destination, ang dapat magbayad ay si seller. Freight prepaid, sino ang nagbayad? Si seller. So, nagmamatch naman. Kaya, dahil si seller ang dapat magbayad, dapat siya ang magdedebit ng freight account. At this time, debit freight out tayo. Or transportation out. Then, credit cash, 750 pesos. Kasi siya ang nagbayad. And then, sa right tayo, Trisha paid the shipping cost of 750. Napansin nyo, walang entry si buyer or si Janine. Kasi wala namang, wala naman siyang ginawa. Hindi naman siya ang nagbayad. Hindi din siya ang in charge sa uh, shipping cost. Okay. Next. 
October 23, Janine sent the payment to Trisha, which Trisha received on October 24. So, debit tayo ng cash, 49,000. Debit sales discount, 1,000. Credit accounts receivable, 50,000. So, ano ba ang kanilang terms? Ito ang terms nila, oh. FOB destination, free prepaid, 2 over 10. O, check natin. Naka-avail ba ng discount? Kasi may 2 over 10 na nakalagay dito, meaning 2% discount kapag nag-buy within 10 days. So, check natin. October 24 na receive yung payment. Minus October 14. Ito yung transaction. Binenta. So, 10 days. Wala namang returns. Walang allowances. So, compute ng cash discount. 50,000 times 0 0.02, you get 1,000 pesos. Ang account na gagamitin natin ay sales discount kasi si hashtag true love ay seller. Then we go to the books of the buyer or kay hashtag, hashtag just me. So, ano ang ating entry? Debit accounts payable kasi nabawasan ang ating utang. Nag-settle tayo eh. Credit cash, 49,000 kasi nabawasan ang ating cash. Credit purchase discount of 1,000. So, sabi nga natin, naka-avail tayo ng discount kasi nakabayad within 10 days. So, ano ang account na gagamitin? Purchase discount. Bakit purchase discount? Kasi nga, si hashtag just me ay si buyer. I hope guys, uh, naunawaan nyo itong transactions, ay itong example natin. Sa mga mas madali, again, kung may tanong, or may gusto kayong i-request na video, kung gusto muna tayo sa accounting one, comment lang, or pwede i-PM sa akin, or sa group chat natin. So, thank you for watching this video, at kung hindi pa naka-subscribe, uh, you can click subscribe, and click also the notification bell, so that you will be updated kapag may mga bagong videos na na-upload. Thank you so much.